Hey guys, gals and legionnaires, Rykon here and welcome back to Let's Relax with RimWorld. Now last episode was actually a little relaxing. We are right on the cusp of going into winter and we had some, well, alpha beavers that came for us. They came for us during the day, during the night and they ate our trees away. But uh, we managed to collect a whole heap of them. So that's going to give us a little bit of a boon, a little bit of a boost to our food. We're kind of lucky in the scenario that we're in is that there's usually you know there's usually wildlife here even during winter because they are you know they're kind of built for it in a sense uh i am going to want to try and expand a few things this episode namely protection security we've still only got this one turret and i think that we're going to be able to support two especially if we keep them turned off most of the time i'm actually surprised that any of that smoke leaf is still alive uh let's go ahead and build some power underneath that just so we can turn it off uh, i'm half tempted to build another battery as well but i think we'll hold off it just for now okay well things could be better in here right now we don't actually have any wood outside so that's something that we're going to need to rectify let's go ahead and ask for any and all wood that is here to be chopped down because we're going to need a whole lot of it inside to build beds and other things and i've just seen that we actually have a beaver still alive we will not let you live not today let's go ahead and turn this back on see if we can get that beaver any moment now not yet well eventually we'll get the beaver we will get there elliot you're up and about good you're relaxing socially okay all right we'll see how that goes um we do need to get this refueled though so i might just get elliot to go out and uh Prioritize chopping down some of those trees first before he starts relaxing socially. Although, it would be nice for him to be able to relax socially. He's not going to be able to just yet. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Um, I want you to use that on here first, if you can. Refuel that. Just so that we can actually... Oh. Cannot refuel stove. Okay, how much do we need? Because obviously we need more than what we just chopped down. Okay. Let's get you back. Uh, prioritize cutting. There we go. Get some more. Okay. Now, if you let go of that, that should be enough now. There we go. Get that sucker refueled. Good. Okay. So, I'm going to be taking Mr. Seabass off mining today and back onto cooking because we just need to have a number of meals sitting there ready to go. We've got four at the moment, and that's not very many at all. Uh, we can store more in our freezer, especially once we're using more of this. So he's pretty much going to be doing that all of today. And Spectra, I imagine, is going to be chopping down a lot of this wood. So that means that Elliot is going to be able to get these other beds and tables, etc., up and running. Where are you starting with there, bud? Oh, you're using the bathroom. Okay. Uh, we should probably look at getting some light down here as well. So if I jump in... Actually, you know what? I do need to micro this. I need to make sure this happens today. So as soon as Elliot is done there, I'm going to get him doing that. Come on, build the chair, buddy. There you go. All right. You can do that eventually. Oh, what are we missing? Uh, it's going to be steel, right? Hmm. We've got a lot of steel here. So maybe, <laughs> maybe I do take Mr. Seabass off that. Uh, yeah, we need more than 100. It's like 147, if not more. So maybe I will get Mr. Seabass back down there after he's done a little bit of uh, cooking. So I'll let Elliot continue doing what he's doing right now. And, uh, oh, hi. The blue, blue hummingbird. Nice. Well, it's just two. We've got red and wool, a mechanic and a weaver. Okay. Okay, well, they are going to be coming down this way. Are they just straight up attacking, or are they preparing? I actually didn't see. I clicked off it too fast. It looks like they might just be coming straight for us, and if that's the case, I'm okay with that. We will have our turret ready and waiting. It is uh, ready now, and it's actually turned on now, so it will be able to get the jump on them. Mr. Seabass, you keep doing what you're doing. Elliot, you keep on making stuff down there, and we will make sure that we get him to... Uh, jump into position once they get close so he can get some shots off with his charge rifle actually you know what it's probably gonna be now so how about you go jump right there actually we might get you we'll get you on the other side because yeah they're gonna be coming at us in melee right oh see even even if we come there first it means that we'd have a few shots as they're trying to come through the the deep water like that yeah like that's gonna take them a long time to get through that deep water shoot away elliot shoot away oh my gosh <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to 
go melee attack so that he tries to chase him down. Um, okay, let's actually just investigate Wolf real quick. Okay, so pretty injured, it would seem. Um, okay, so Wall is too smart and a prostophile. Often dreams of going bionic. Incapable of plant work, artistic, or animals. Is great at crafting. This is tempting. This is tempting to bring uh, Wall on board. Maybe, hmm, we'll see how difficult they are to recruit. I mean, our prison, uh, this is like a terrible room for a prisoner at the moment. You know what? We could actually use this for a prisoner. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. And you know what? Let's even go and chuck a torch in there as well so it's a little warm. Okay, well, Elliot, in this case, I will get you to rescue Capture Wall. Okay. Steel Spear. Um, I might actually get Seabass to go and grab that spear if he can. Yeah. Or Elliot could use one as a sidearm. How, how are you with that, Elliot? Your melee is four. It could be better. I think, yeah, no, I think we'll just stick to what we got right now. Yeah, not bad. And I will actually probably just get rid of this. Deconstruct that. And let's deconstruct that light as well. We don't need that to be there. Okay, whoa, let's have a look. Character, gear, prisoner. Okay, 78, so not impossible. Let's try and chat and recruit. I think we will actually try here. We're going to go for no medicine yeah i know this is a colony where we're meant to be harvesting organs but we do need uh we do need other people from time to time and i think this is one of those scenarios where we do need them ah damn the psychic soothe is gone okay well we'll go with what we got it looks like you're trying to haul why are you trying to haul buddy hmm i guess he's just trying to get out of the way so he can mine possibly um Let's see. It says, pro oh yeah, we'll never haul. Um, can I not get you to continue cooking? I guess because the bills are done, perhaps. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, right, 10. It's suspended. Okay, I'm fine with that. You carry on doing your work then, my friend. Spectra, what are you doing? You're harvesting, you're getting more wood. Nice. That's a lot of wood there now. That's good. Um, let's see. You're going to go consume a simple meal. Good for you. Let's have a look at our cleaning zone. See if I need to expand it. Uh, no, we're looking pretty good. It's still the same area. Okay. Elliot. Um, let's see. I'd, I'd rather if we just get that built real quick. Um, we are still using that as a room as well. What do we need for the bed to be finished? Just work. Oh, work and wood. Okay. So as soon as Elliot's got that done, probably... Oh, good. He's going to do it. He's going to go finish off the double bed because then, uh, then we don't have to worry about getting this room built for spectra let's see i do actually need to mark this as elliot's bed oh it is okay good okay oh i guess you just decided to, <laughs> decided to stop let's give this for spectra and there we go all right spectra this is all yours congratulations you have a room okay and you know what we need to mark these things for hauling so let's go orders haul urgently and we'll get all of that crap out of there. And there is actually some crap up here as well. And there. And there. And that's it. Okay. That's good. Nice. Yeah, if we can get Wold to join us, um, that's, that's the crafting that we need to be able to get all of our blocks made. I mean, that's good. That's real good. Nice and toasty inside. The, the, the fire and the torches, they're making a difference. But we need to remember to keep our, you know, our wood. And you know what? Actually, we need to... Make sure that we actually bring that inside. So it doesn't degrade sitting out there. So I think that'll keep uh, Spectra pretty busy. Hauling all these things in and out of here. And it looks like it's nighttime. Nighttime sleepies for you. Um, okay, so we still haven't built this power conduit yet. We need to get that built. Um, we are getting more steel and we got some components there. So I'm hoping we're going to have enough to be able to get this uh, sucker completed. We'll know once we can actually right-click on it and tell them to prioritize it. Let's see how Wall is doing. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, it's actually pretty good character. I mean, good at shooting as well, so that's that's nice. Um, but yeah, the crafting, crafting and mining as well. Yeah, mining, construction, even intellectual as well. So that's, that's a bonus. It sounds like someone that we actually need. Uh, it's another guy. 
um, <laughs> so we've got four guys at the moment. Um, although one of us does like guys, so that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Seabass. Mr. Seabass, you have the uh, you have the pick of the group. You've got a you've got a lot to choose from. And I just realized that that's still turned on. I was like, why are we draining so much power? Who is that needs warm clothing? It is Elliot. Oh, yes. He doesn't have a hat or anything, so I guess that'll be why. All right, Mr. Seabass, what are you doing, buddy? Oh, you're using the wash bucket. Okay. Uh, do they get a negative from using the bathroom at the same time? Grimy, cold. I'm sorry you're cold, buddy. Um, speaking of that bathroom... We need to chuck some light in there. I was meaning to do that before, but I forgot. Um, I might actually want to try and do the chandelier. Chandelier sounds like it'd be a boss thing to have in a bathroom. Uh, I do want that to continue, though. Elliot, what are you doing? Playing horseshoes. Okay. They do need joy, so we'll allow it. Then you seem to be doing pretty good. Just chilling out. Having a good time. Wall is on the mend. No... Um, no infections or anything like that now. I'm having a look. Two degrees inside, so it is actually pretty damn cold still. Even with the torch there. Could be warmer. Spectra, thank you. Good hauling. Oh, you're going to go and have a neat. I guess there are no tables up there. I'm just like, why is Elliot just eating on the floor in the freezer? But there are no tables there, to be fair. So, I can understand why he's not. Oh, yes, look at that. We're getting the turret built. Hell yes. That's what I like to see, buddy. Good work. Thank you, Elliot. Appreciate it. I'm going to feel a little bit safer now. Not super safe by any means, but a little bit safer. And that's good. So let's go ahead and... Is that going to... Yeah, it is going to be able to connect. Good. Okay. Uh, next thing that we want to do is create a dumping stockpile around it. Okay. And we'll go ahead... And we will clear just the centerpiece. Uh, because I want some chunks to be dropped, dropped around that. Uh, although in saying that, they're probably going to fill up these areas first. So I might make it so that it's uh, important that chunks are stored there. Yeah. It's just a little bit of extra protection for the turret. I'd do the same thing there, but it's not so much of a big deal. It's already got bits around it. What the hell? Why did we get a burn barrel? I guess that was part of it. Oh, it's filled with human waste. Okay, right, right, right. So we do need to to haul that to somewhere else. Can you burn waste? Prioritize hauling that, and then let's see if we can burn it. Huh. Okay, I want to see if that spreads or not. Interesting, because that's everything that was in the latrine that we had in there. Like, I wonder... It must just fill up after a while, and we have to take this outside and, and burn it off. Cool. I mean, that's cool. I like it. Nice touch. Mr. Seabass is just chipping away at our great hall here. It is coming along. It is looking pretty great. Spectra, you are going to be hauling for a long time, I fear. But uh, you are getting there, and then we'll have some cleaning done as well. All right. Looks like Elliot's trying to cook. Okay. Nice. We're getting some things done. We've got some wood down here as well. Which I'm actually happy to see that that's done. Um, I don't know if I want to place down any wood in the Great Hall just yet. Not sure about that. But we have enough steel that uh, I'm tempted to... How are we doing on components? We, we could have some more. <laughs> we could. Um, I'm surprised how long that's burning for. 12 hours. Oh, it, it burns for like that whole time. Wow. Make sure it's placed in a clear area. Yeah, I imagine that would not be good, burning that inside. <laughs> the smell would be interesting, to say the least. Yeah. Minor break risk. Who is it? Mr. Seabass. What can we do to improve your mood, my friend? In darkness, yes, uh, that is true. Oh, we don't actually have um, a fireplace in here anymore. I'm surprised. I thought that would have uh, just been replaced. Let's get that done, Elliot. Uh, I'll let you finish that meal there, but I'm thinking afterwards he will go and prioritize that. Uh, resting. No, resting is for uh, other people. You don't rest, my friend. Not today. Not today, we don't. Oh, nice. All of that is now protected. Good. 
Very good. Spectra, make your way down. Come say hello. Um, we probably will clear some of the snow from this area eventually. Right now, it's not that much of a of a deal for me. Winter is here. Okay. Ah, oh, Vienna men. Let's get you to... Where do we want you to sleep? Because you aren't exactly best friends with Elliot, so... Yeah. Where do we want you to sleep? Who's like who's most likely to train you? We don't really have anyone that's skilled in animal tending right now, right? Handling. And saying that, Spectra is a is passionate about it. Mr. Seabass as well. So how about Mr. Seabass will have you uh come and sleep in there? So let's uh let's give you a proper bet. We're going to go for an animal sleeping box and we're going to create it. Yeah, just behind the chair. I reckon at the end of your bed. That'll be good. And once that's constructed, we can get rid of the other bed. Yeah, that's saying Elliot's going to need them. Yeah. He is more in need of them than the others right now. There are... <laughs> there is a very poor quality toque there. Uh, that's not a dead man's toque, but it's poor quality. So we'd, we'd be getting upset about the clothing quality not being super high. Um, we are going to be shifting, like I said, all of our production into here. We're going to be working primarily in this space just for a while. It is only going to be the dining hall once we are properly set up in here, but that's still still a while off. And this wall is going to be getting removed as well. It's going to be going from here because I want the main corridors to be three wide. And I don't know why I've made those all two wide. I think the reason I did was because they're really just like kind of like sideways that you would go down. And primarily it was meant to be for these bathrooms more than anything. Like these hallways here were the main ones that you'd end up using. Or at least that's what I would kind of encourage them to use. Yeah. All right, another day. We'll see how we do. At least it's warm in here with that fireplace. I say warm, but like, you know, 11 degrees is better than minus 17. Uh, you aren't super warm in there though, Wall. How are we doing health-wise? Better, better, that's good. Let's have a look at, uh, yeah, the recruitment difficulty. Chat and recruit. So hopefully we will have well, it's really only Elliot that's marked as a as a warden, really, isn't he? Okay, so let's go put that on one, because uh, I think trying to recruit Wall should be up there at the moment. What are we doing? Washing. Okay, wash away. Spectra is going to be hauling for a long time, and we're going to go and attempt to recruit Wall. We'll see how the process goes. Hmm. Minor break risk. Mr. Seabass, recruit chance, 2.9% chance, failed. Damn. Yeah, we'll see. We'll keep them fed for a while. Worst case scenario, we will harvest and we'll make up for any, <laughs> any food or anything that we've spent so far because uh, we know that they can sell for a decent amount. Spectra, thank you. Good job. I'm not going to worry about hauling anything out in here just yet until we have all of this hauled. And then as soon as that's done, we'll get the cleaning happening. It'll be good. Low food. And that's why Elliot is getting to work. We have more than enough alpha beavers in there right now to keep us fed for a good long while. We just, uh, are just having a friendly chat. Let's have a look at the social here. Listen to an recruitment Recruitment purchase. Okay, we're building rapport. We're getting on wall side. Four point six percent chance. So it is. It is growing. It's getting there. I think Elliot's not so bad at talking. Surprisingly enough, I think he is a talker. He can be convincing. I guess he needs to be to uh, lure people into a false sense of security. So wall wall is fully healed now. Is on edge. Has a beanie. We could steal that. And by beanie, I mean toque. It took me a while to understand what a toque was originally, but uh, it is what a beanie is to, uh, I guess, the rest of the world. I, I don't know. Do you Americans do do you, do you call it a toque? I mean, what what about in other places of the world? I think a beanie is generally what I've come to know as, uh, yeah, what most people consider a toque to be. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's just a Canadian thing where you've got toques, or if it's elsewhere as well. Let me know. I'm I'm curious. I am indeed. Okay, Elliot, how are you doing with Wall? Let's jump and have a look at his social. Oh, plus 10. Okay, that's better. So Elliot is, um, ate raw human meat. Oh, oh, right. His, uh, yeah, right, okay, okay. Or is that just, 
Because I'm wondering if he's t able to tell that Elliot has butchered a human-like corpse and ate raw human meat. Did we do that recently? We haven't touched that, that, that guy. <laughs> Not right now. Okay, 8.2. It's, yeah, we're, we're getting there. Slowly but surely, Elliot is getting there. We've got six survival meals. We've got seven actual meals. Nice. That's good. We do need to remember to try and keep some raw meat around for our uh, good friend Ven. And, uh, oh, nice. Ven's, Ven's little sleeping spot has been built so we can get rid of that other one. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Minor break. Mr. Seabass. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. Seabass. You don't see, we seem to be super happy, huh? You are working in this very big, open, and cold space, though, so I can kind of understand that. But uh, as long as you keep at it, you keep going, keep doing what you're doing, we'll be doing all right. Uh, so we don't have a huge amount of components, but uh, we do have these nearby. I'm half tempted just to get those mined out now. Yeah, I don't want the roof to collapse, so that's the only thing. <laughs> I think building the other wall there would be good. Elliot, you're just relaxing socially around the fireplace. Very nice. Spectra. Spectra is actually cleaning now. That means all the hauling's done. Nice. Okay, well, at least this area will be looking a little bit better, but um, it's going to take him a little while before he manages to actually kind of get through that whole space. And it looks like Ven has decided to sleep down here for some reason. I guess it might be slightly warmer in here. No, eh, it's about the same. And we're four degrees in there, so that could definitely be better, but uh, it could be a hell of a lot worse, Will. Oh, whoa. Yeah, I know. I know. We need something for Elliot. We'll make something eventually. He's okay once we're inside, and he really doesn't spend too much out. Okay, so Wall has gone berserk. Right, we need to do something about that. Let's see. You're pretty skilled, right? At, like, hand-to-hand -hand combat? <laughs> no, not super skilled, but I feel like we'd be putting someone at risk if we went in there. Mr. Seabass, we could get you equipped with the uh, steel... Oh, actually, no. Hang on. Mr. Seabass actually has the uh, the steel spear. Hmm. What do we want to do here? We could just try and shoot him with Elliot's rifle. I think that could be worth it. Let's head out that way. I don't know if I can just open that door. I'm pretty much going to have to let him destroy the door, aren't we? Well, he's going to be able to get out pretty quick. So let's go hide behind that for now. Wait for this to drop. He's almost there. One, what are two more hits? Okay, there we go. Let's open fire on him. Okay, maybe I should have waited. Okay, come on, Elliot. You've got this. Okay, that's good. Oh, he's in restraints as well, so he's slowed down. I probably would have been okay to, to melee attack him here. Okay, all right. It's come to an end. Did I shoot anything off? No, he's just injured. Okay, let's go ahead and capture him again. Oh, it's not it's not enclosed. Okay, well, we need to try and do that pretty fast then. So let's just go to our structure, door, Elliot. At least the wood's nice and close by, so that's, uh, that's something at the least. Go on, get that stuff done. Nearly there. Can't fast forward for some reason. Ah, oh, there we go. Washing wall? <laughs> Let's go ahead and capture him first. Alright. Let's see. Okay, we're going to need to tend to him again. So, go ahead and prioritize tending him. Let's see, how is he doing? Oh, we've just got a bruise. We're going to be absolutely fine. We're going to be A-OK. -okay. Did that impact our relationship? Uh, probably did a little bit. Yeah, he's, he's dropped down a bit. So, <laughs> yeah, because we harmed him. Oh, well. We had to, to protect our people. That's what we needed to do. Mr. Seabass, love your work, my friend. Love your work. Spectra, you're getting your bedroom clean finally. Very, very nice. Okay. Keep it up. What's all this then? I'm guessing that's not dirt. It's just like a different kind of ground texture. I haven't seen it before. All right, nice. Things are actually pretty clean in here. Let's just go check the beauty. It is a little, oh, whoops. Cleaning area one. There we go. Thought I unselected it for a second. Things are better in there, that's for certain. Yeah, it could be better. 
a lot of uh, not so nice rooms, but they will be getting better over time. Elliot, what are you resting for? Are you tired or? Yeah, you need to rest a little bit, I suppose. You're gonna be okay though. You're gonna be fine. Spectra, what are you doing? Clean and dirt, making things nice for Wall. I think you gave him a wash. Yeah, awful prisoner cell. <laughs> In shock from exceptional pain. Yep. Okay. He did get shot many times from the charge rifle, so I guess that's to be expected. Yeah. What are you doing? Tending to Elliot. Oh, okay. What are we using? Just, okay. Just regular treatment. He's going to be fine. Don't worry. Uh, but our meals have gone down very, very quickly, so I would like us to do something about that, if we could. I don't think Spectra is going to do much cooking, so... If Elliot, if you're feeling okay, if you could get up and do some of that, that would be fantastic. I think we'll just wait, wake him up now. Okay, what what was the experience in the bathroom like? Still an awful bathroom. Ah, I guess we need to have a little bit more in there to make it better. Oh yeah, I mean that that alone, that that toilet is not super great. We need to really try and offset that somehow. <laughs> uh, we could we could chuck down some plant pots. That that will help a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I guess it could be better, huh? And I think a lot of that's going to come from researching. Researching better um, hygiene techniques rather than just a hole in the ground with a little bit of wood over the top of it. Because um, right now, that's not the most sophisticated thing in the world, is it? No. It's doing the job for now, though, at the very least. Oh, Spectra's actually helping out here as, now, as well. Nice. I like it. I will select this area to be cleaned once it's kind of fully mined out, which we're actually pretty close to getting there. I'm actually really surprised how fast Mr. Seabass has been able to do it. Very impressed. Good work, my friend. What are you off to now? Consuming a packaged survival meal. Yeah. We're on those. That means we need more food. So Elliot, I think, yeah, there we go. As soon as those were done. And Spectra is actually going to plant some things in here. Mr. Seabass, you obviously didn't get a very <laughs> private experience then, but uh, I guess better than nothing. Chipping away. I feel like maybe I do need some more supports than what I've got in right now, but we seem to be okay. I hope this is all right. I'd like if there was a little bit more of a warning, if there were something terrible to happen. Thank you, Spectra. Cleaning it up. Okay, so Wole is feeling a little bit better now. Little bit, little bit. It's gonna take you a while to heal though, buddy. You made the decision to go berserk, not me. And it looks like Elliot is going to go to sleep. Okay. Well, not so bad of a of a of a episode for us, really. Um having them come through here, we can see if they do choose to go through there, how difficult it is for them. If we put a wall across here, it means that they're probably gonna try and make their way through there. If we put a turret on either side. I feel like we'd be we'd be looking pretty good. Yeah, I feel like if we can kind of get them to, to go through there. Because um, I know originally I said it's impossible. It's, it's, it is possible to go through the blue, blue water. It's just very, very slow. So they will almost always route to go another way. If they, if they can, they will. Damn, minus five. Maybe we need two torches in here. <laughs> or we could just go, yeah, see, five days. It lasts for a lot longer. So I think we are just going to chuck another torch in there just to keep them warm because um the, the campfire only seems to last a day uh and so yeah we have actually lost our one in here and the temperature is going to start dropping down so let's go ahead and put another one back in or we could just get a heater in here for now right i mean it's probably about time that we do it's going to be using up a decent amount of power though so we might even have to look at expanding and adding another solar panel how many components was that though? Three. Okay, that's doable. And we can always mine for more as well. We have access to that. It's not like our last playthrough where we were quite limited by the amount of components that we had. We have a lot of space here and there's obviously a much higher chance that we're going to be running into, you know, those here. Component setters. Good work, gents. Thank you. All right. Very nice. And that's the one that we actually decided to leave, which, yeah, is just going to keep the place a little bit more stable. Minor break, Mr. Seabass. But you're so close, my friend. All right. 
So this should be a pretty nice dining room once we're actually finished with it. I think it's going to be good. Uh, we have a lot of work to do in there though. Um, I'm pretty much going to go for wood the whole way through it. Um, so I'm hoping that before this episode is through, we are going to complete it. Then, uh, then we'll be looking pretty nice. What is our target temperature? 21 degrees. So we'll see, we'll see what it can do. It's going to be able to boost it up a little bit, but it's such a large space. Um, I mean, at least we can see it's going to be above freezing, so that's a little bit better. I will have to pay attention to our power consumption, but our other solar panel is up and running right away, which I'm pretty happy about. We got that built really, really quickly. And we still have a number of components left as well. It's all that steel that we just have sitting in here. And just like that, it, it has actually been mined out completely. So that means that I can open up these other areas to mining. So I'm going to have a look at opening up this area here and also opening up this area here, which is going to be our... Um, Hang on, wait. Oh, you see that? That's slate wall. Oh, snap. There's something back there. Oh, oh, okay. Hmm, interesting. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting to run into a ruin in here. That might change things. For good or for bad, I'm not so sure just yet. Hmm. Well, at least the dining room has kind of been completed, so I'm going to be able to look at chucking down some walls now. And, um, well, not walls so much as the floors. The walls, they are going to take a little bit longer. We need, uh, we need to get working on those, certainly. But, um, I'm pretty happy with how things are coming along. They are getting there, slowly but surely. We still have a lot of work to do, but this place is coming together. Um, a lot of these walls we are going to have to remove and kind of rebuild, but we're going to have to do that in sections so that nothing collapses. So it will be a little bit of a juggle, but we'll get there eventually. We're going to need a massive stockpile of blocks before we do that. And for that, we need wall. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we are going to be able to get him on the team. We'll see how that goes. When you come back next episode, I'm going to have all of this planned out as to how I want to have the the wood throughout all of it so hopefully i've got something that looks semi appealing but uh i guess you never know until you put it down what it's actually going to look like sometimes it can just look straight up atrocious so we'll see it might just be that thank you for joining me for another episode though this is the end i've been rykon you have all been awesome and until next time stay tuned